So guys, it's the first day of rehearsals with our band. This is the dressing room and we were here last year for our tour. Hi Miss. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Doing my little vlogging. So we were here basically rehearsing last year for our tour. So it's really nice to be back here. This is like the first time I'm seeing the stage set up for the O2. Guys, I can't even believe it. Like, it's such a blessing. And yeah, this is gonna be like first reaction. to kick things off at the O2 we had a full day of rehearsals so here's us now at Cody Studios with King just basically getting our steps in order so while we were in rehearsals with Cody the band went to the huge warehouse to basically work on the music side of things and while they do that we do our thing and then we come back together later and kind of blend the two together Four, cross, five, six, and seven, eight. Who's bloody excited for a Sugar Babes O2 show? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was also our head of production, Chris's birthday, and so we did a little birthday surprise with the screens for him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Woo! So for our OT show, we wanted to make sure that our fans had like an experience of the journey of Sugar Babes. We wanted to celebrate our legacy without making it kind of like a karaoke show, if that makes sense. And so for us, it was about taking you guys back in time. And we went and dug up archive footage of ourselves when we were in rehearsals at like 13 years old or something. And we wanted it to be played on the screen behind us while we kind of did the same routine in front of, our, in front of the screen, if that makes sense. Have a look at this to see what I mean. Seeing all the footage and listening to us talk as kids is just always going to be so funny to me. Watching it was so cringeworthy, especially because my hair looks like Angelica's doll from Rugrats. I mean, honestly, the embarrassment. Sugar babes are fun. A few days later, we had a photo shoot for Time Out magazine, and here's a little behind the scenes footage. Right. Yeah, So the theme for this shoot was 2000s and they kind of wanted us to kind of bring back a lot of the things that we used to wear when we were in our teens. So I kind of went for this like purple um, outfit. It's like a short skirt. It's got like a little split in the front um, and I really liked the outfit. And they ended up using that outfit for the front cover. The next outfit I wore was this velour blue tracksuit, which was nice and like fitted. And we used that for my solo shot. Right after that, we hopped on a plane and we all traveled to Madrid for a show. I absolutely love Madrid. As soon as we got there, we just put our bags down and myself, Siobhan and our hairstylist, Devon, we went sightseeing and we got some ice cream. Um, we went shopping and it was just such a lovely day. And we just felt in the mood for oysters and like champagne. <laughs> I don't know whether it's because we were in Madrid, but we just really fancied like oysters and like some champs. And so it was really lovely. The next day was the day of the show. And right before we went to the venue, we went to the top of our hotel and we did a photo shoot where I got to take some really lovely glam pictures. So then we hit the stage and we went on quite late, but we didn't care. Like it was just a nice atmosphere out there. We even spotted some fans of ours who we actually, I think they flew over for our tour the year before. So it was so nice to actually see them in their hometown. And then after the show, this beautiful girl walked up to us and was like, hi, my name's Lourdes. And we were like, what? 
because obviously we instantly recognised her as being Madonna's daughter and she said she had bought um, some of our albums and she started singing our album tracks and it was super like sweet. Then it was time to travel from Madrid to Amsterdam for another show. I absolutely love Amsterdam. I've got so many memories going back and forth there since I was like 16 years old. Um, the memories are so dramatic and one day I'm gonna do a story time and I'm definitely gonna bring Matira along so she can explain to you how on earth we managed to end up in a bar fight. You would not even believe, and I'm not even a fighter, but like, you have to hear the whole story. It's hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, before all the drama kicked off, um, we actually went to a karaoke bar where we sang songs and with our band and it was just a vibe as usual, having the best time. Next, we went to Belgium and this place was absolutely gorgeous. Mutia brought her daughter along on this trip and we had the best time just walking around, seeing the sights. We got some lunch and then headed back to the hotel. And in between all of that travel and shows and rehearsals and photo shoots, it was my birthday. And more than anything, I just really wanted to spend time with those that I love. I didn't want anything too flashy. I was like, I want a KFC spread. I want my rainbow cake and good company. And I want to dance to jazz in the kitchen. And my best friend and my mom, they got together and just made it all happen for me. So it was really lovely. I would honestly say that doing the O2 was one of the highlights of my career. Um, when we decided to get back together 10 years ago, we obviously had so much dreams and hopes and I think through the years of just trying to get the name Sugar Babes back and everything, you know, pertaining to the stress around that time, we just never thought that people would be this excited to see us all these years later or that we'd get the opportunities that we've had over the last two years. It's been so incredible and thank you to everyone who came to see our shows, who's come to see our, you know, festival shows. It really means the world to us. So that was it for day 10. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.